Welcome and thank you for joining in this presentation. We will explore the evolution of ideas connecting gravitational waves, frame dragging, and the care metric for rotating black holes. In 1916 and again in 1918, Einstein used the linear approximation of his field equations perturbing flat Minakovsky spacetime to predict gravitational waves. His method used retarded potentials, a trace reversal trick, and a focus on weak field approximations. To simplify the linearized field equations, Einstein applied a trace reversal, subtracting half the trace to decouple the system. Einstein described how gravitational disturbances propagate using retarded potentials, similar to electrodynamics. While Einstein focused on waves, Hans Thiering and Joseph Lenz turned these linear tools to a different purpose, analyzing the gravitational effects of rotating bodies. Thiering and Lenz reused Einstein's linear approximation, the Minakovsky background plus a perturbation, his trace reversal trick, and retarded potentials, not for radiating waves, but for the steady frame dragging caused by rotation. Since planetary rotational speeds are much slower than light, they justifiably neglected higher order velocity terms, validating the linear treatment. The result was frame dragging, a rotating body slightly twists surrounding spacetime, a prediction now known as the lens theorem effect. Decades later, in 1963, Roy Kerr discovered an exact solution describing a rotating black hole. But the seeds were sown by theorem and lens using Einstein's original tools. In the 1950s, Felix Perani and others developed tools like the Petrov classification. Ted Newman and Roger Penrose introduced a powerful formalism to track gravitational radiation. This chain of discovery from Einstein's linearized equations to theory and lens rotation effects to Kira's black holes highlights that gravitational waves theory has far-reaching consequences even for spacetimes that do not radiate. Neither Carl Schwarzschild nor Roy Kerr used the term black hole. In 1974, Chandra Sekhar articulated the structure of rotating black holes, a solution to Einstein's vacuum field equations characterized by, ju by just two parameters, mass and angular momentum. This marked a turning point in solidifying the Kerr metric for rotating black holes. Thank you for watching this presentation.